Hello everyone, this is Coach's Corner. Coach Rob, Zero Life Center. How y'all doing? Nice to see you again. Been um, traveling a lot. Recovery got me on the road. Oh man, I can't complain either. Um, but had a great time at uh, NADCP. First time going there where um, they did a bunch of classes and a bunch of uh, got to learn a lot of great things to better help what we do um, and we help a lot of drug court participants sustain long-term recovery so um, got to get amongst other people and it was scary at first because sometimes you got to pinch yourself and say what you're doing there but recovery got me there um, so then um, we're traveling back from my best friend wedding um, which recovery allowed me to do that I wasn't drunk, I wasn't acting a fool, wasn't embarrassing the people that was with me. Um, and, you know, that's what we gotta start doing. We, started, we gotta start talking about what recovery is doing in our life. I can get on here and tell you all my war stories and tell you where I've been and, 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 and sucking and, and waddling that mud and, and all that good stuff. But, um, but I was having a great conversation this morning and we were talking about that, how people, don't know how to be around someone in recovery. They tiptoe around us. They walk on eggshells and they say, hey, do that drinking, do my drinking bother you? And I, you know, I tell people be their self. If you want to drink, you drink. If you want to smoke weed, you smoke weed. I don't choose to do that. But that hurts us. And this is me. And I, and I, you know what I say, I'm just saying that this, I'm not, saying it's the it's the gospel but with me and what that does to me is it questioned me in my recovery am i'm doing the right thing because now people are tiptoeing around me and questioning me and whatever so if you got so so if you have a loved one that's in recovery and the best thing you could do for them is live your life live your life and celebrate them in their life and you know you can't make them do recovery but you can't just tiptoe around them and 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 question them and ask them and I understand you don't understand recovery and we got to stop acting like recovery is the plague because with someone that got cancer and they sitting there doing their uh, chemo treatments we don't walk in there and say how did that chemo make you feel um, you know uh, or, or that we just accept them and say hey they're doing their chemo I'm gonna sit here and eat my soup or eat my cake while they're doing their chemo. And that's how it should be when, when you're around a person in recovery, is if you wanna have that drink, you take that drink. Because we know what we have to do. We know what we have to do because it makes it hard for us because we, now we second guess if we're doing the right thing, okay? So, great things happen in recovery great things happen in recovery a lot of great funding coming down there um i was just did group for on our 12 o'clock to our one o'clock meeting just did a group and i talked the whole time like i always do um and but i was talking about labels too in this recovery thing we have so many labels we're a person in recovery we're a father we're a husband mother sister brother girlfriend boyfriend then we battling with what we've done in the past we're felons we're prostitutes we're drug dealers and all that be who you want to be be authentic learn who you want to be you're gonna be a person in recovery be a person in recovery and all those other past labels is what you've done that's your past that's your past that's your past and because you know someone dependent on us as people in long-term recovery someone dependent on us Someone is dependent on us. You never know who it is. You never know who it is. And by me being transparent with you on coming on here and talking to you all, I don't know who I'm reaching. I don't know who I'm touching. I don't. And I don't worry about that. I get on here because this helped me. This helped me. And I was talking to, and I was talking this morning too, is as people in recovery, we need to tell the blueprint. How we got here, how we staying here, 
Yes, meetings are great. They're lovely. But when you leave the meeting, I want to know how you maintain it. I want to know what you're doing. I want to know how you are living up to that success and how you live to your success. How you stay away from the dope man and the, or the dope woman or, and whoever those people are. I want to know that. How you get up and go to work and be successful. How you manage your money. How you doing. It. That's the blueprint that we should be teaching and should be showing others in recovery. We got September 4th, the recovery walk. If you... You see me putting on Facebook a lot. Please support that. What we're going to do, we're going to honor people that we have lost to an overdose. And we're going to honor the lives that's still on this earth that's uh, in long-term recovery or in recovery. September 11th is Recovery Fest. That's another one in Ocala. And if you're doing something in your area, support. If you know someone that's doing something in your area, support that. Because we got one month. We should have 12 of them. We got one month to celebrate recovery. 30 days I think September 30 days but so um, you always can reach out to me 352-765-4943 love to talk with you uh, we doing some great things at Zero Hour Life Center um, we are doing some great things to be to continue TBT TBD how they say it um, we got some great things coming up people need us people need you you're that person that's in long-term recovery sitting back there hiding in the shadows. Someone depending on you. You don't see it now, but I didn't see it six years ago. I want to get on here and just tell my story and help others. And I didn't know it was going to be like that. I didn't know it like that. Recovery has been great. It has been good to me. God has been good to me. I forget about my higher power now. You know, yeah, spirituality is a part of recovery in my life. I ain't forgot about that. People see all that materialistic thing, but man, six years ago, boy, I was up the creek without a paddle. All right? So be authentic. Stop worrying about what other people got going on and how people see you and how people feel and all that, man. Man, be authentic. Be yourself. And stop looking at these Facebooks and man, people put all this stuff on Facebook and make their life seem like it's all glory and glandy and all that, man. People are struggling. People are struggling. There's a new, man, addiction is crazy out there. It's taking people's lives. They're dying. They can't shake it. They can't shake it. People go to treatment, come back out there, and next thing you know, they're back at it. Because the reason why is because we're not being authentic. We're not going out there and telling them the blueprint. Okay? So, see you next Friday. Oh, Tuesday, we got a vision meeting. If you don't know what our vision meeting, you can check it out on our website at zero, uh, www.zerohourlifecenter.org. And we have a vision meeting. We got an outreach committee meeting. If you're not a part of a recovery community, you can be a part of a recovery community long distance. I want you. All right? So I just want to jump on here and just do Coach's Corner, all right? Uh, send me a shout out, all right? Proud of you. Do the right thing. Be authentic. Tell somebody the blueprint of how you're successful in your recovery. I'm learning it. I'm learning and telling people. And trying to do trying new things so I can be successful in my recovery, all right? So have a great day, and we'll see you again. Peace.